Isn't she cute? Today we're checking out Trick by Alex G. I know nothing about Alex G. A lot of short songs, a lot of two minute songs, one minute songs, kind of similar to the last time I checked out, um, Rubber Soul um, by the Beatles. It, it feels like a very similar layout, just like a lot of quick songs. First track, Memory. I like that last part though. I, I like the vocals. It sounded like it sounded like I was listening to a memory, literally listening to a memory, like a memory of like a conversation or something. Talking about basically doing like probably coke, and then he's like stuck in a bad memory. But then the the good memory is that like at least he left the CD of the game they played, and it's a lot of it, it almost gives him a good memory. It's like a mixture between bad memories and good memories. Next song is forever. I wonder what perspective he's talking in on the song. He was like, don't get upset, open your mouth. You look so out of it. Pull it together. We could love you forever and ever. And then I will, pull, I will pull it together. You can love me forever and ever. The alcoholism and him will love her together. But then like he needs to, he needs to like, sober up so then he, so then she can love him forever. I don't know why. I think I'm, I, I'm thinking too literally on the song. I'm thinking too literally, but I like the song how it sounds. I like how it sounds a lot. Animals. <laughs> I had a feeling I knew the, song, the meaning of the song. I had a feeling. Basically, a dog is symbolism for drugs. So it's like it's like the song is about drug addiction. Who uses drugs as a coping mechanism throughout the song? There are indications where the drug use is affecting themselves and others. Okay, so he's like so him on drugs. He pisses on the neighbor's lawn. Interesting theme. I, I like the songwriting a lot. Very unique song, songwriting. Like I would never expect somebody to like compare like drugs, like a drug addiction to like a dog. You know, I feel like the song sounded like cute, like in relation to a dog. But like the real meaning of the song is obviously not cute, you know? It's interesting. String. Instrumental wise, like best yet, best yet for sure. Instrumental wise, I love that. I, I love how awkward his his uh his vocal sounded too. His 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 vocal sounded very awkward, but like fitting. He's just confused, you know. Like, are you a girl on a string? Like, it sounds like the string means like maybe someone's tagging her along. Like, don't don't listen to him. That's that's, that's kind of how I imagined it. And he's just confused, you know. He's just left confused. I love this song. Advice. To be completely real i kind of stopped listening to the not stop listening to lyrics but more just like 
focus like all my attention on the instrumental. I love that. Man, it's just getting better and better. This is getting, this is just getting better and better. I love that instrumental. Like how lush it felt. Just like what are what that reminded me of? It reminded me of like almost like slow dive Suvlaki. You know what I'm saying? Like that that uh, shoegaze album. That, that gave me like crazy slow dive vibes. Like I love that track six people. This one a little bit kind of confused, but I like how it sounded a lot. So he's just, he's really influenced by TV. It looks like he's like he's like I don't love anyone but this guy on TV. I want to be famous. Takes a pill and drinks. I'll clean up while you're at work. Matching socks and iron shirts. Sarah, show me how you want it. Talk about the guy on TV still. I don't know. A little confused by that song, but I love how it sounded. I love how it sounded. Track seven, whale. Favorite Kind of cute, honestly, kind of cute. Another example, like, another example of, like, a cute-sounding song about him talking about a whale, you know? His favorite his favorite animal is a whale, you know? It's kind of like animals, like, it sounds cute talking about a dog, but it really means something else. I feel like this obviously means something else. Like, I think the whale obviously probably means, probably symbolizes drugs. I'm going to fry mine with cinnamon and a pear. I assume cinnamon could be, like, heroin, maybe? Like, brown, a brown substance, you know? That's what I was thinking. Maybe, like, a pear, he smokes it out of a pear. Trick. like that that was the exact half of the album it's that was track eight and um that was the exact half i wonder if, it, if the whole album is going to switch up right now i wonder if it's going to switch up i like the instrumental that it sounded very eerie very eerie very like electronic almost very like it reminded me of, like early to that like maybe early 2000s like computer sounds or something like that's what kind of reminded me of track nine cute I feel like that song was very hard to follow. I like how it sounded though. All these songs have sounded great, okay? But that song felt like a memory. Or like not a memory, it felt like a it felt like a dream. Like what 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 what, what was he even talking about? You look like someone I could bury in the garden, and when I die, I'll dig you up. Tear out all your feathers? Like what is what is going on? I, I have no idea. So That was a heart-wrenching lyric. An empty crib, a dirty gift. He made me sick. Like, I assume, like, she probably gift- she, They probably got a crib together. Because they're probably planning to make a family. And maybe she broke up with him. And then it's like, he's just, like, alone with his crib. Like, it's awful. That is, like, that is, like, heart-wrenching. Wow. Makes you think, man. Makes you think. I don't know. I really, I really enjoy the song. Mary. Big sharp teeth, fat hips. Mary's a girl I want to fuck. Crazy. What I'm, what I'm getting here, I think Sarah is the girl of interest that maybe they, they separated. And then maybe like Mary is the girl that like, he's just like, I am just horny. I just want to get this off my mind. 
and I want to fuck. But also, Mary could also mean marijuana, because she's got big red eyes. Maybe marijuana. Maybe that could mean marijuana. Change. I wash you change. I feel like after that little B switch in track eight, I feel like that little after that little switch up, I feel like after that it's been like way more somber. Remember when you took too much? I don't mind being your crutch. I loved you then. It's not the same. I don't like how things change. This is like honestly like heart wrenching. Heart wrenching as fuck. Let's keep going. Clouds. That had to be one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. It was so fucking good. So fucking good. They gave me like heavy gospel vibes. Heavy go gospel heavenly vibes. Like some dude on a cloud playing a piano type shit. Like that's, that's all I was imagining when I was closing my eyes. What did Adam do? I deserve that. Sounds like Alex G is a bully, a freaking stinky bully. I bet, I could said I'll bet $20 that Adam won't get his lunchbox back. Like I literally bet he won't get it back. I'll bet you money he won't get it back. It's kind of funny. What does Adam, what does Adam symbolize, you know? Sarah. This song's cute. This song's really cute. Oh my god. I got like a little ter ter teary eye there. I don't know. I just I love, I love how the instrumental sounded. I love how that sounded. I love the lyrics. I, I just love how like cute it sounds, you know? I guess the, the song, I just looked up on Genius because I was curious. It, it, it means like, so he likes her, likes her too much, backs off, and she likes him, but then now is confused why he's not liking her as much. It sounds like a very, it, it's, it's a very bittersweet song. I enjoyed that. Like, I, I think that, I think instrumental wise, that was very cute. I love the instrumental of that song. I thought, that, I thought, I first thought that like she, killed herself and like and he had to deal with it I, th I thought that's where the song was going at first and i was like oh my fucking god let me look confused my head was going everywhere with that song like everywhere 16 mirrors Like read this again. I looked at the, the beginning of the song too. I like the I like the two the two voices going back and forth. Was that like was that his voice pitched up? The final bonus track, Sixteen Mirrors, features R.L. Kelly's R.L. Kelly's trill vocals endlessly layered till it sounds like there's almost sixteen of her. Like her voice is reflecting and attracting off itself. Oh, that's cool. That's actually cool as fuck. Like you're in a mirror room, you know. A lot of unique songwriting. Like things I I feel like I've never heard like. I, I obviously the, the I obviously the full the full theme of this album is a lot of like a lot of addictions and a lot of like a lot of like personal like bad habits like addictions like the battling with addiction and battling and missing missing this girl and stuff. Yeah, I thought this girl killed. I thought Sarah killed herself. I was so sad. I was like, oh my fucking god, that's why he's like going through this rabbit hole. Um, I like the first half. Like like I I take eight as like the middle half of the album. Trick was like the middle of the album. I like the uh, I like the first half more. I think the first half a lot more stronger songs. I like I like the shoegazy feel of the first half. And the second half got a lot more like somber, I feel like. I like Sarah. I liked String Advice. Whale was funny. Whale was a really funny song. Trick. I like the instrumental track of Trick and both instrumental tracks are good. Clouds and Trick. 
yeah, I'm, I, I want to check out more XG. I want to check out more Alex G. I enjoyed this front to back. I don't think there's a bad song in here. Might just leave it there. Thanks for watching me this far. Comment below other albums I should check out. And if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for the video. Peace out.